I'd like to show you some of the common uses of the unigauge with a table saw. So the first thing I want to do is check alignment. I'll need my miter gauge slot adapter and a couple of knobs to attach that. The miter gauge slot adapter has a spring-loaded plunger on one side to eliminate any side of the miter gauge slot. Now, by using the various machined notches in the legs, you can adjust the distance from the miter gauge slot to whatever you're measuring. So in this case, on this side, I can see it's quite close. So I'm going to move the legs up a notch. And then go ahead and attach it to the miter gauge slot, slot adapter. Now I've got a good secure way to bring that and measure off the miter gauge slot. So I'll bring my blade up, pick up a tooth in the front, and simply rotate the blade back, and always pick up the same tooth so that you get an accurate reading front to back. Now with the unit gauge set up that way, it's also ideal for aligning your fence with the miter gauge slot. Bring it up, and if you want, make it a little easier to read. Zero it out and just slide from front to back and check your alignment. Now by using a dial indicator, you'll also see if there's any warped uh, fences. If you have a wooden fence that's maybe warped or, or been damaged over time, you'll pick that up with the indicator movement. Another thing that I like to do with the unit gauge when I'm adjusting my fences, if I want to make a fine adjustment, just turn the indicator sideways or horizontally. And now to make an adjustment, when I move, I can see exactly how far I've moved. can always repeat to the last setup just as easily. Now with the unit gauge, it's also ideal for leveling extension wings, uh, your throat insert on your table saw. Simply bring your unit gauge down, zero it out, and then extend it over the extension wing. And it makes it much easier to adjust it when you can see it move as you're making the adjustment. I would do the same thing with my throat insert. Bring it over in this case, zero it out, and I do get a little bit of differences as I move around a table. The gauge isn't changing, it's just that the tables aren't always perfectly flat. But as you can see, it makes it real easy to adjust it when you can see the indicator moving right to your zero. The way it's set up now, it's also ideal to cantilever over from the side to adjust the height of your blade. In this case, I find top dead center. And if I knew exactly the dimension I was going to, for instance, a half inch with a dado, I'd dial it up to a half inch. And I know I'd be right there and ready to cut. You can also use the unit gauge bridge to cross there, if you're more comfortable with it that way. But sometimes the cantilevered method works well if you have fences or jigs close to the saw. One of the other things you can do is install the extended tip onto the indicator. And what that allows us to do is to reach down below the table so they can actually check the run out of the arbor of the saw. Bring it down, check the run out, zero it so I can know exactly where I'm at. And I can see just how good my arbor on my saw is.